Obviously, abortion is about the mother, and obviously, abortion is about the child. But abortion, too, is about the father. The desire for a permissive abortion policy would disappear if men, universally, promoted and pursued a culture of moral sexual behavior. I'm speaking to all men. On Sunday, Ave Maria University in Florida held a rally urging students, alumni, and all voters to vote no on the upcoming state abortion amendment. The event featured multiple speakers and special guests, including lawmakers, church leaders, and even actor-producer Eduardo Verastegui. Ave Maria University is offering a free course to help educate Catholics and non-Catholics about the value and dignity of life. The online course explores the tension between the Supreme Court's treatment of legal rights and the Catholic understanding of life, rights, and natural law. It aims to help students become better versed in life issues, including abortion, euthanasia, capital punishment, and even work, property, and family life. Dr. Shauna McGuire Sugru, professor of politics at Ave Maria University, who teaches the course, joins us now to tell us more. Shauna, it's such a pleasure to have you here with us. You start the course by laying out the spiritual dimension of human life and our capacity for prayer. Why did you choose to start the course this way? And can you explain the role that cultivating an interior life has with the pro-life movement? Thank you for your excellent question and for the invitation. I started with the view of the human person because it's impossible to understand a Catholic approach to rights without understanding our anthropology. And a person is a composite of body and soul. And the spiritual dimension and is that which has made us in the image and likeness of God. And so to ground any kind of discussion of life, including why abortion is deeply problematic, it's essential to understand why we as persons have infinite value. As misinformation spreads during this election season and political talking points diminish the dignity of life, how do you see this course helping? Well, interestingly, we didn't create this course with a view to this political season. We had started it long before. It has proven to be providential that it has been uh, released at this time. But I think that it is helpful for those who might not understand the Catholic view of the human person and our view of abortion or euthanasia or the value of work or sexuality to uh, have a deeper appreciation of the philosophical foundations from which Catholics operate. I hope that it's going to help other people be a little bit more thoughtful about their underlying assumptions and to have a greater appreciation of the incredible patrimony of the Catholic faith from which we're drawing and discussing these issues. I think we could all use uh, to be a little bit more thoughtful. Now, in your course, you talk about abortion and euthanasia. How do you approach the issue? Well, in talking about abortion and euthanasia, um, we, it's helpful to think about creation, that we are not self-created beings. And oftentimes discussions about abortion and, and choice uh, suggest that we get to create our own destiny. Mm -hmm. But each of our lives is a gift. It's a pure gift from God. Uh, we are creatures. We have been created. And that's true of the unborn. And from God's perspective, there is not this vast distinction that exists between us uh, as fully grown human beings and an embryo. And so uh, to, to ground it in a different perspective that talks, gets us away of this uh, talk of difference between those who are fully mature and those who are at early stages of their development, I thought it was really helpful to talk more about creation and also to talk about why the alternatives are incoherent philosophically, especially the quality of life perspective, which is just simply arbitrary. I thought that was like an excellent approach. And where does the family life, work and property come into the course? 
Well, these are all dimensions of our personhood. And so while we're talking about um, abortion or euthanasia, this is about the value of our bodily being united with our soul. In our everyday lives, we also have uh, rights because we are called to engage and serve others in love. And so that's where the dimensions of work and family life come in is uh, the anthropology that gives dignity to our labor, uh, that understands that we are co-creators with God, and that's what we do with our labor, and as well our sexuality. We are co-creators when it comes to our sexuality. Thank you so much, Dr. Suguru. Thank you. You can learn more about the course and sign up for it by visiting thepursuitofwisdom.org.